Welcome back to Theme Park Wizard and today we have a very special DreamWorks update for you because we have the construction update from BioReconstruct but then also Universal Orlando re revealed some new details or full details from the land who will go ahead and sh show some concept art and give you the extraction details as well. Before we get into it I want to go ahead and show you two things that we don't have concept art on and we don't have images on as well. Um, one is the Imagination uh, Pavilion and the Character Zone. So, the Imagination Celebration is going to be a multi-sensory sensory adventure combining pop songs, dancing, and technology from an immersive party and uh, atmosphere inside the DreamWorks Theater. And then you'll have the Character Zone that's set to be host meet and greets with the DreamWorks characters. And this will happen kind of out, it'll be in the land, but kind of not in the main focus of the land, it'll be kind of outside. It's where the Barney and Friends was happening. And those are the two uh, aspects, the two interactive elements and shows and more meet and greet opportunities that you'll have in the land here so let's go into the land now and let's talk about each um each of the three areas starting with kung fu panda the kung fu panda area will have two attractions you'll have the post kung fu training camp and po live post kung fu training camp will be inspired by the kung fu panda films and this new play area brings the panda village to life like never seen before it has both wet and dry play areas guests have the opportunity to help the pandas wash and dry their laundry with enormous water cannons, dump buckets, giant pans, and more. Yes, we'll also encounter fun, fun elements throughout the experience, including an interactive gong, mischievous, giggling baby pandas, and the oversized mail ground noodle bowls from Mr. Ping's Noodle Shop. Poe Live is a pretty cool thing, since like Turtle Talk with Crush, they'll have a, this will be a digital interactive meet and greet experience, which gives guests the opportunity to interact with the famous Dragon Warrior himself as he teaches the cool Kung Fu Panda moves with some delicious stir fry and baby little cousin uh, Ling Ling all at the same time. And you can see the construction of this area progressing quite nicely with the bucket resaved and the play area and even the first pieces of theming being installed, the beautiful Asian theme. And here's the concept art. Concept Concept art looks gorgeous, and I think the best out of the three art pieces shown here. So here's the concept art. You have the interactive gong. There's Poe over there jumping, uh, doing his laundry with a water bucket, and there's a beautiful Chinese lantern from the Chinese architecture. This looks fantastic, and there's a whole bunch of kids playing, and I hope that's the whole goal. Oh, this will attract a lot of kids, and I hope they'll have a great time here, especially with Kung Fu Panda 4 coming up. They all want to go to this area, so I think this looks absolutely gorgeous. Next up is... The Shrek area. Now, the Shrek area has the ton, most of the stuff, and a ton of stuff to meet and greet. It's fantastic. They have the Shrek Swamp Meet. We can visit Shrek Swamp to meet with the interactive beloved character of Shrek, Princess Fiona, and Donkey, who again, hopefully, Donkey will look much better than he did in his previous incarnations at Universal Studios Florida. Then we have the Shrek Swamp for the Little Ogres, which is that big play area we've been talking about right behind the Shrek Swamp House. Then you have Mama Luna's Feline Fiesta, which is from Puss in Boots 2, The Last Wish, a fantastic movie that's on Peacock right now. You can go check it out. But this comes to life with a new interactive experience that takes place in Mama Luna's retirement home for cats. Guests can play with Mama Luna's mini cats on vivid interactive screens activated by buttons, bells, mark markers, and levers. They might even spot the one and well, one only Puss in Boots himself. So there'll be a meet and greet location for Puss in Boots. King Harold's Swamp Symphony. This is King Harold in his uh, frog form, as he was after uh, in Shrek 2. Guests can create their own mel uh, melodicious masterpieces. They trigger a choir of ever-changing frog rabbit ribbits by continuing stomping on an inter interactive display of lily pads. And this is those that display of lily pads that you can see right here that, been, that we've been watching pop up over the past uh, few weeks that I thought was potentially part of the Trolls area. Finally, Shrek's uh, have his own, her own retail location, or sorry, snack location called Swamp Snacks, and families can eat some really cool looking, or really good sounding food. They didn't show any pictures of the food, but it sounds fantastic. You can have um, inspired snacks, or snacks inspired by Shrek, including the Shrexel, which will be a pretzel, but I love the name, Shrexel, the Far Far A Waffle, which uh, yeah, I want a waffle and frozen ogre and more, which will probably be like a like a slushy or something. But I'm really interested about the Shrexel and the far far a waffle. That sounds very very cool. And here is the concept, the official concept art for sh the Shrek area. Again, as you can see from the photo, though, the Swe Shrek swamp has much more shrubbery than it does in this photo here in the concept art, which is crazy. And there's the troller coaster with the spiders. And we'll get over to the trolls area right now. And there's a nice water little water play area with those cattails in the Shrek Swamp 
area. And lastly, we're going to move over to the Trolls area, which has a few things. Again, Shrek has the most, uh, but Trolls has, you know, the heavy, hitty, heavy hitter with the Troller Coaster. And it's called the Trolls Troller Coaster right here. After strolling through a dazzling marquee uh, starring cherished tr Trolls characters Poppy, v Viva, Tiny Diamond, Satin, and Chanel, guests of all ages can take a ride on the iconic Tanner Bus, giving evil, escaping evil spiders the speed along a bright orange and yellow track aboard this family friendly roller coaster. And again, that archway right here, that's the thumbnail you can see right here. That is just gorgeous. I actually like that. I, I, the 2D to 3D is kind of interesting. I think I preferred if it was all 3D, but I do like the archway. Poppy's Playground is also very interesting because this is where I, I say I did make, make a mistake from the last video. In the last video, uh, construction update on this, I said this was a new ride because it didn't look like a swing, a swing ride or a flat ride, but this isn't a new ride, but it is a new attraction. It's a uh, 20 foot, this is nestled under a giant 20 foot mushroom. It's Poppy's Playground, which is a shaded play area featuring col colorful flowers and bugs with a bountiful array of fun bouncing and climbing structures for the youngest of trolls. So again, not a ride, but it's still an attraction because it's still a play area and I'm so glad it's shaded because of course, we all know the Florida in the summertime can be very, very beautiful, especially for young kids. That's not too good. And then lastly, in the Trolls area, they have a few uh, locations for treats called Trolls Treats. So you can have Poppy's Boombox from Trolls Band together has been transformed to a playful kiosk that offers brightly offers a brightly colored Trolls ice cream treats inspired by Poppy and branch like uh, branch like pink flavored Popalicious pink and huckleberry flavored frozen berry. Then you have the High Five Hideaway, which is uh, where Cloud Guy hosts this all new re retail location featuring the latest merchandise, including apparel, apparel, plush, and accessories from Trek, Trolls, Kung Fu Panda, Gabby's Dollhouse, and more. So that's like High Five Hideaway is the main retail location for the entire land. And that's going to do it for this DreamWorks Land update. Oh, by the way, it officially opens in summer 2024, which is awesome. That can go anywhere from like June to. Um, September, so um, probably, hopefully, I assume like June or July, it would probably open up because they look to be pretty done, they're almost done now, they're just installing all the theming elements, and then I'll probably do team member previews, testing of the troller coaster and more, you can see the troller coaster actually in one of those photos had the trainers in the station, you know, with the concept, from concept art, what the uh, catter bus would be looking like, which would be awesome, so yeah, I'm excited for that, it's a great thing for um, kids, Universal traditionally hasn't done much for little kids, so it's very nice to have a brand new area for them. Hopefully, this will go to Islands of Adventure, Universal Studios Hollywood. Of course, they're building a whole park for kids, but hopefully, they'll have some Toontown kid-like areas in their major parks as well. What do you guys think of all the new details revealed today via Universal Orlando and Entertainment Weekly? Uh, they released an article this morning. Let me know in the comments below. If you like this video and like these updates, Press that subscribe button, and if you want to contribute to the channel to get some early access perks and many cool perks, you can join, uh, become a channel member, and click the join button down below, or uh, click the Patreon, patreoncom slash club 722 We have some special stuff on our Patreon as well. If not, everyone have a dream works day.